Um, I've seen this horrible, right? Look, whoever's at Bape now, whoever's at Bape, whoever's doing the stuff at Bape, whoever's handling Bape since Nigo's departure, since Nigo was fucking kicked out of his brand because he spent too much money making amazing clothes, right? And mishandling his finances, which he should be forgiven for. But whoever's handling Bape now at the moment, they're doing a fucking terrible job, aren't they? I think there was a moment in time where Bape were kind of reissuing all their classic... Um, pieces right all the classic staples that you know and love for babe like all the stuff that i have in my kind of book here right i've got this amazing book that showcases all the old school babe let me check it out see if i've got i can take it out here but loads of the great old school bait pieces right i'm gonna hold up to the screen so you guys can see like shit like that right you see that like classic 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 babe right um what is it this is a this is a an m65 first camera right mk65 first camera stuff like that right a space cycle jacket right silver it's really in now at the moment everyone's wearing these kind of astronaut things right loads of great sweatshirts right look at that nice sweatshirt right there right amazing huh a great babe sweat sweatshirt look at this cycling or bmx kind of jersey top that supreme probably would end up copying look at that fucking awesome right Loads of great stuff. Look at this. Look at the simple striped top they have here that looks amazing. Tons better than anything they're doing now at the moment, right? If anything, if you're probably an old school babe customer, a good kind of substitute might be cave empty, right? Cave empty. I think they're doing some fucking amazing things. But whoever's handling babe's creative direction now is doing a piss poor job because the collaboration I've seen with Adidas, the collaboration I've seen with Puma, um, and now we've got this new collaboration with Uggs and Lil Wayne is modeling it. I'm not mad at that because Lil Wayne was probably one of the main people that, you know, was kind of pushing bait forward when it was in the early 2000s when he was wearing those oh, all camo looks. He looks fucking cool as fuck, but you can't tell me anything that they do nowadays will look anything better than that, right? James Lavelle and Nigo in the woods, stunting, wearing all bape, head to toe, right? No garish branding, no stupid stuff everywhere. Just nice clothes, right? Nice clothes made by an absolutely obsessive clothing fan in Nigo, right? So this is the book that I've got that's got the Bible of everything in it. So if you guys at Bape need anything, let me know and I'll send over this archive and you can put back some new stuff because this collection I've seen with Uggs is fucking terrible, man. Um, I know Uga trying to come back. They've done some good stuff. I've seen they've got got a good mainline collaboration. I saw a massive billboard outside um, Box Park a few months ago. A couple months just before Christmas. That looked amazing. It had some great shoes in there. They were, they were showcasing. I know they've done a collaboration with Heron Preston that looks semi decent. And they're trying to kind of come back and trying to reinvent themselves and try and make plug themselves back into the modern wear. But this collaboration that they've done that at the moment, this Ug and Babe Spring Summer collaboration, but that Lil Wayne is modeling looks fucking bullshit. So here it is, right? It's a lookbook. I'm going to put up on here. Actually, let me uh, let me minimize this screen a little bit so that we can see it and talk at the same time. But Jesus Christ, man. Honestly, some of these brands, you really wonder, right? It would have been just better for, for Bape just to die, right? Wouldn't it? I would have just preferred it just to die a slow, natural death. It was one of those brands we all knew and loved and it kind of go as opposed to it carry on um, unnecessarily so. Um, so anyway, here here it is, right? Here's the collection. So this is a lookbook I just saw on Hypebeast today, this morning, and I thought, fucking hell. So, um, da -da -da -da. Is, is, is any point reading this Hypebeast or copy? He's going to be copying whatever they, they sent him in the press release. Um, the imposing camo covered... Um, Mutton coat weighs in at weighs in at an imposing three thousand and five hundred US dollars, while matching mittens are equally possible eight hundred and eight hundred eight one hundred eighty. Three different Sherling coats, uh, retail between three fifty and two seventy five. The collection is gonna drop when? Uh, who fucking cares? And stuff in Bape Selfridges. God Almighty. Anyway, so this is the collection, right? You got here Little Wayne, obviously with the with the prayer hands as per usual, standard pose. Uh, Little Wayne, I'm happy for. He's come back out of the from the grave, released the Carter Five. He seems like he's got his business in order. He's suing his other lawyer for swindling him out of money. More power to Little Wayne. He deserves everything that's coming his way, right? It's not a Little Wayne slander. This is Bape slander. Whoever's doing the Bape direction now is absolutely killing the brand, killing it, killing it, killing it beyond belief. So much so that i'm tempted to buy up all the archive bait and just wear that as a fucking protest to all the new shit they're putting out at the moment like if you've got that bape and puma stuff burn it if you've got the bape and adidas shoes burn them i don't care how much stock x tell you they're worth they're garbage so here we go right bape and uggs like what is this and they have the guts to use that logo they have the guts to use that logo man they have the guts to use that logo on this fucking trash ass jacket like 
oh, like why? Why is this happening, right? With obviously Bape on the, they've got these gloves with obviously BA on one and BP and PE on the other side. Like fucking hell, what is this? And why is Lil Wayne topless? I know he does this all the time in general when he's performing, but why is he topless in his lookbook? Tell me, tell me, tell me, huh? Are the are the chains baping ug? No. Just the are the jeans baping ug? I don't know. I'm not. I don't think so. Just the just the trainers and the tops, and or the jacket. Get your money, little one. Do your thing. But Jesus Christ, mittens. Of course, you have got slippers there. You've got. I'm assuming pajama pants and a shirt that I don't know why they're that color or why they're that pattern. I have no idea. Oh, it's just terrible. Just absolutely terrible. And considering the price of what it is, just. It's garbage and probably plays a lot into the kind of hype beast kids men buying mentality, right? Where as long as it's limited, as long as it's kind of, you know, um, uh, there's not many retailers that are kind of, you know, have it for sale. Kids are probably going to queue up and buy this crap. But it's absolutely terrible, man. It's so, so terrible. It's just sad to see where Babe is at the moment. I get it, right? Nigo's not there anymore. Probably most of the OG crew that were around when Nigo, because it felt like when Nigo left, when he got kicked out, I had to kind of sell his company to IT. It did feel a little bit like the f- kind of seasons after that a few of these kind of the team that were there before were able to kind of hold it down. Similar to like uh, Mason Martin Margiela, right? There was a period where just when Margiela left, where they were able to kind of still kind of put out some semi-decent collections after he left. But then, over, of course, over time, the talent designers or people that are involved in the company might have just thought, you know what, it's not worth the hassle. And plus, whenever you get absorbed by another big company, like with startups, right? When Insta- when Insta- when Facebook bought Instagram, it was only a matter of time before the the, the Instagram founders were probably going to leave or get kicked out, right? Um, after a period of time, when you get sucked up by the big machine, they kind of render your input um obsolete and of course if this is something that you've made in your fucking garage right if you're a part of nigo's team the original 10 employees that started that started bape when it was um in nowhere alongside with the fucking jun takashi right the last thing you're going to be wanting to do is taking orders from some um chinese-based conglomerate right it doesn't make any sense so of course over time those people probably moved on they probably went to other places maybe set up their own brands maybe you were laughing with the bank and enjoying the retirement so you're now seeing this babe is now being completely operated by it completely operated completely you can see that there's no way anyone that was involved in the original crew would allow this shit because little wayne deserves little wayne deserves more than this too right like he deserves more than this like this is garbage beyond garbage like it's just terrible He's got on boxers that don't look like they're like he's obviously got his brief pulled up a little bit uh, uh, over his jeans. They're not even bape or ug. It's just terrible all around. Is the hat he's wearing bape and ug? I don't know. It's just all terrible, all fucking garbage, completely and utter garbage. Like what the fuck is this? The gloves, the the shoes. Like look at these shoes. Look at them. Look at the shoes. Uggs are already hard to pull off anyway, and already kind of terrible shoes quote unquote but you know if you've got swag and you know what you're doing you can kind of do them i saw a guy the other day who kind of looked really cool wearing a a really old vintage north face with some like tattered kind of like double rl jeans or bottoms and some old school kind of um uggs they look like you know he probably was about this life back in the day he pulled them off amazing right but they're really particular look you have to kind of have the source to kind of pull off there's no way you can pull this off even with source they have they have a fucking name they have a gold name tag on the back of it a chain like they have the bape logo embossed on the side even though it's covered with bape heads it's just like oh overload these chuckers that could look probably quite cool the chuckers could look great if they just got away with the embossed sign they've got two logos there put them in the same place you don't need to have them spread out across the entire shoe right oh just absolutely terrible slippers again like why don't you just make a standard slipper that has instead of having it kind of have the embossed kind of the babe star look on it instead of just why yeah the sneak oh jesus christ just all of it all of it's terrible man completely terrible burn it all man burn every single last piece of it and again who are we gonna see wearing this stuff um who are we gonna see doing this stuff who are we gonna see doing who are we gonna see doing stuff we're gonna see we're gonna see um, influencers wearing this stuff. We're gonna see market marketing people wearing this stuff, right? People that get seeded are gonna wear it. No one that's actually gonna, no one, the amount of people that are actually gonna buy this in retail is gonna be so slim, so so slim. It's only gonna be people that seeded it, and it's gonna give you a false assumption that this shit is actually popping when it isn't. It's not. It's not popping. No one wants to see a baby in Up Collaborate in 2019. 
we just about want to see Uggs. We just about want to see them. And they're kind of, you know, fucking it up a little bit with the collaborations that they're doing at the moment. But who wants to see that? God damn it. Ugh. Anyway, what do I know? <laughs>